With 2022 now well underway, we are already making headway on this year's work plan, continuing with the implementation of our strategic plan and working towards delivering IP value for businesses and citizens of Europe. The past years have been marked by the global pandemic and we are still dealing with its effect both at home and abroad, but innovation and IP play a crucial part in our recovery. Earlier this month, I was in Paris for the conference organized by the French Patent and Trademark Office on the industrial property challenges associated with the economic recovery. This conference gave me the opportunity to meet with senior national government officials to discuss and align our priorities in the area of IP during the French presidency of the Council of the European Union, as well as to exchange views and discuss cooperation aspects. I fully agree with the French Presidency that we need to ensure that Europe exploits the full potential of the economic recovery and of the ecological and digital transition. And as the most innovative IP office in the world, as ranked by the World Trademark Review, together with South Korea, we are in an unparalleled position to do so. We continue to sign collaborative agreements with business networks and associations at European level, and the ideas powered for business network of SME stakeholders is growing fast. In the first month since its launch, the second edition of the SME Fund has already received requests from almost 2,500 SMEs and was featured in the Commission's EU Industry Days held last week, where EUIPO participated in the specific Meet the Expert session. This edition of the SME Fund covers patents as well as trademarks and design. But all IP rights once granted also need protecting and enforcing. With IP crime declared an impact priority by the Council, we are signing a collaboration agreement with OLAF and we chaired a high-level meeting on IP crime which brought together the top representation of EU agencies and European Commission DGs all this under the scope of the observatory, which this year celebrates its 10th anniversary. All this at a time when our customer-centric approach means that we continue to roll out services to bring the customer closer to the heart of what we do, with outreach activities, customer panels, and more direct contact with our examiners. Our new website is under development with new tools and services such as artificial intelligence pre-clearance tools to reduce the amount of deficiency letters, and publications of API to allow direct integration with user systems. With all this still to come in 2022, we will be a busy year indeed.